boys back here we got German round three of my YouTube war with the attic nerd uh, in this YouTube war I'm playing the Axis Germany and Italy this is German turn round three we got 41 here we go 41 43 IPCs to spend we got one sub we got six seven infantry one mech two tank that is the buy now we're gonna move on to these combat moves uh, and we're gonna get these done all right, let me switch to the other end of the table. Sorry about that. Germany does not have 43 IPCs. It's 48 IPCs. However, that five is just going to get banked into the total. All right, we're back here at the other end of the table. Time for the combat moves. We are moving the infantry from Karelia into Novograd. We are moving the 11 infantry from Baltic States. The five tanks from Baltic States into Novograd. Two tanks have moved in. Keep that round of there covered. Let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, there's going to be no battle there because the German army takes that without without any kind of conflict. They abandon the city, so we'll send the Germans up to. Soviets are down to. Okay, next up, we leave one infantry in Baltic states. The rest are joining in Novograd. And then the three artillery as well. Sent some fat stacks in Novograd. Leaving one infantry there. Okay, next up, we're taking the transport here, moving it one over to pick up an infantry and an artillery. It's moving back, deploying them in Novograd as well. I'll have all the numbers on this for the um, recap. Then, uh, this isn't technically a combat move, but we are moving in to C zone 125. Um, the uh, Soviets are still convoying us. However, we do have um, or the subs there. Uh, the subs going to submerge, obviously, in this instance. Next up for combat moves, we have one infantry in Romania moving into Bessarabia, taking that for the German army. Okay. And that, let's just make sure we check all of our boxes here. We'll turn that in. Ship in for air. Where is it? Yes, in artillery. Turn that ship in for that. All right. Um, let's make sure everything here. No more combat moves. Yep, no more combat moves. So now on to the non-combat movement phase. The German fighter in Alexandria will be moving into Cairo or Egypt. So it looks like that. Next up, the two artillery in Holland, Belgium are moving to Western Germany. The three infantry in Western Germany are coming to Holland, Belgium. We have the remaining six infantry in Romania coming to eastern Poland. Plus the two tanks and the two artillery. It's moved in as well. Then we're taking these tanks here to eastern Poland. From Germany, so that's two, three, four, five. Let's move some of these points. Six. So these planes are still in Poland, but the Mac is coming in as well. I'll fix it up with the chips, make sure it looks all nice. Um, the German artillery in Germany is coming to Poland. Next up we have 
the one artillery in Western Germany going to Germany. Okay. I will take a quick break and put all the chips on so that way it looks a lot cleaner. All right, and then for our last non-combat move, we're looking at moving the two tanks from Western Germany all the way over to Poland. Okay. Now to do our placements and then we'll collect income and then we'll do the recap because I know there's a lot of troop positions we need to know the location of. Starting off, infantry and mechanized infantry will be going into Germany. Like so. Two tanks will also be heading to Germany as well. Three infantry are going to France. Wait, I can just use two chips. So. Three infantry are going into Paris. Like so. Then we're going to have three more infantry go to Western Germany. And then we're going to have the sub. Sub's going to go into 113. All right. It is time to roll for the convoy here in 125. Let's get subs use two dice. And that's three hits. That is three off of my income. All right, let's do the recap, and then I will get the uh, collected income totals right now. All right, starting off in Leningrad, we have 20 infantry, five tanks, four artillery. In C zone, what is this? 115, a cruiser and a transport. Baltic States, one infantry. In eastern Poland, right there, we have seven infantry, one mechanized infantry, two artillery, and six, seven, eight, nine tanks and infantry in Bessarabia. Over in Poland, we have two strategic bombers, two fighters, four tactical bombers, two tanks, and an artillery. In Germany, we have two tanks and artillery. The three anti-aircraft, infantry, and mech. We have in 113 a sub. We have in 125 two subs. We have in Norway one infantry. We have in Denmark two infantry. We have in Western Germany three infantry, two artillery, and the three anti-air. Holland, Belgium, three infantry. France, three infantry. All the way over in Egypt, one fighter. That is the recap there. I will now tally up the income. All right, so Germany has 44 IPCs on the tracker, minus 3, which will bring us down to 41. We get 5 for the Denmark-Norway, 5 for controlling Leningrad, which brings us up to 51 plus 5 that we banked would put us up to 56. So Germany will have 56 to spend next turn. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Axis and Alloys signing off. This is some, I guess, extra content here. Um, so if you made it this far, congratulations. Right now we have the Global One 1939 map up right now. And we are in the process of setting it up and putting the nations on. Uh, I got Anzac set up over here. The Dutch, FEC, which is India. Uh, we have China, Japan, USA. Uh, we're getting most of Russia is there. Um, if we move over here, we have some of Egypt, um, uh, Italian Africa, French, Germany, Holland, slash Netherlands. Uh, so we have a lot of it set up right now. Um, it's certainly been a learning curve to the setup. Um, you know, certain things I've been having to improvise on, um, like not having a certain piece or not um, having a specific sculpt. So, for instance, if we look at the Japanese, um, we can see here in Hainan, one has a Japanese roundel upright and one has a Japanese roundel on the downside. Um, the Japanese round on the upside is representing my veteran infantry, and the downside is representing Japanese SNLF, which is like a Japanese Marine. Um, so, you know, making some house rule slash, um, 
you know, accommodating to my current piece load on what I have. Um, so, so far it's going pretty good. Uh, everything's setting up quite nice. I am, you know, uh, I've been looking at some setup charts, so making sure everything's in order. Sometimes I feel like, a, you know, a piece is needed one area um, or a piece needs to be taken away from one area, but I'll, I've been setting it up to the best of my ability and then um, I'll probably do a solo game of it just so that way I can get a good feel for it and um, take everyone else along with me on the setups there. Of course, when my YouTube war with the Attic Nerd on Europe 1940 is done, I'll have um, all the air bases and naval bases and stuff be able to come down from that to help out with the setup of the game. Um, yeah, I mean, right now, if you guys want to see, we have a whole lot of ships here, a whole lot of ships in the med. So all this stuff is going to go pretty quickly. Uh, I'm assuming some quite big battles at the beginning of the game, and then it's going to fizzle out to um, probably one, one or more powers being dominant in the area. For that, Germany's got some subs scattered all around the map. Um, so yeah, it's been fun to set up. Um, uh, certainly excited to make more videos on this. Um, show you guys some... I mean, I, I probably don't have the best strategy for it uh, because, you know, I just got the map. So uh, certainly showing you guys the setups and my opinions on balancing and all that stuff. But um, it'll be a cool experience to play out. But thank you all so much for watching. Again, this is Axis and Alloy signing off.